We got to talk about this Pixel 9a leak. So oh I don't know if you've watched the Pixel Fold review. Uh, I mentioned in that Pixel 9 Pro Fold review that the camera bump on the back doesn't quite look like the rest of the Pixels. Like it's not a visor. It's more of like a bubble in the corner. And it's just, a, I kind of wish it was more a of a beam. visor. It's sort of, it's a square actually. <laughs> Either way, it's not a visor, right? Now we have leaks of what may be the next A-series Pixel, the budget Pixel, Pixel 9a. And for those who are uh, not watching in video, it also is not a visor. Matter of fact, it's just an essential phone. It's the essential phone. Like <laughs> it's like a it's a flat sided, glossy backed, big old camera, bezel. Uh, big, not huge, but like it's an A series. For today, those, so like, that's a big bezel. Uh, even even bezels, hole punch cutout, and totally separate flash next to the camera module, dual cameras. It looks very essential phone, but with a giant G on the back. And a huge camera. But How are we feeling? Is this boring? I mean, it's black. There's no, like, colors leaked in this particular render. I but mean, if it was made out of the same materials as the essential phone, maybe I'd be excited. Ceramic. That's a super it was ceramic. Mm, yeah. yeah the, ceramic. The phone, people forget that phone back in the day was, like, pretty well spec. It was ever. really well built, and it was, like, Affordable. 400 bucks, right? I think it was Five forty nine, five forty nine, or something. Oh, I'm off and it had that. a headphone jack. Well, <laughs> oh wait, oh wait. Psych. Hey, you could buy an attachment. To put I don't a headphone jack think in. they ever sold that attachment though, right? It was uh, on the roadmap, but I don't dongle. think they ever put it out. I thought or they eventually they did. did. The first the one was that three sixty camera. Three sixty camera. <laughs> yeah, maybe they did sell it. Anyway, the the Pixel Nine A will probably be very very predictable. It will, be, it will probably be. 449 or something like that it will probably be a tensor g4 it will probably be the old camera sensors regular and ultra wide yeah it will probably be do we think it'll have in-screen fingerprint or power button fingerprint that's the only thing i'm not sure uh, what does it look like in i this? would prefer this render looks like two regular buttons so i would guess not i guess power probably button. probably in screen but maybe not ultrasonic because it'd be cheaper that because they're Makes ultrasonic, sense. you know, and the new mm -hmm. ones. Probably optical. Probably 128 gigs of storage. Gemini, 8 gigs of RAM. Did you explain yeah. why this looks like the essential phone? Because there's no camera bump. Yeah, right. Like, Sorry. recessed yeah, it's camera. Yeah, it's, it's flat. It's very flat as well. Flush. Which I like. I think a lot of people are going to like. I'm hoping that means enough battery as well. Like, go ahead and add battery if you want to flatten out the back of the phone and not have a camera bump and have more battery. Great. Love that. Um, well, that just generally means the sensors are way smaller, right? Also, 100% true. They got, yeah. Yeah. The reason we have the camera bumps on these phones is because the sensors are huge yeah. and they have a large Z-axis dimension, which means you just need to protrude it out the back. Yeah. So, yeah, smaller sensors equal smaller camera bump. I think the conversation with Pixel for me is still mostly around, like, is the next version actually going to be, like, a huge jump up for Tensor? Is it actually going to be the exciting, like... Well, this is going to be G4. Right. This one's right. not going to have the new one. The yeah. new, it'll be Pixel 10 generation that has that stuff. Yeah. So still a wait for that. But that's the question is like, okay, should I should I buy the Pixel 9 series generation stuff or should I be waiting for this alleged amazing huge efficiency update for the 10 and the Tensor G5 if they still call it that? Unsure. Yeah. A lot of rumors about that. Well, for the hundredth time, they're releasing this allegedly in spring like usual. I want to say. And they need to stop doing that. Because I know why they do it in, in that they're just like the parts are so similar to the regular phone mm -hmm. that people aren't buying them anymore. So if they release a new thing, but it uses a lot of the same parts, they're technically just selling more of the phone. Yep. But when they do this like this, the 9 is out only like six months before the 10, yep. the 9A, six months before the 10. So it's just like. I don't want to buy this phone when the 10 is about to come out. But if it's, it's half the price, then maybe people won't care as much. What if they did it the Apple way, and instead of calling it the 9A, they called it the Pixel SE. SE. Yeah. So you don't think about the 9 as much. It's just a budget Pixel. And the way that Apple does it is they only release an SE every few years. True. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it's Aren't apparently an, about the yeah, new SE? It's going to be like iPhone 10 body, Roughly. is what people are saying. 10R, maybe? Yeah. Which is annoying, because I wish it was a mini. They should just make it the iPhone mini body. How was this snatch <laughs> shot up? He was his ears perked up. How many times have Sorry, we had this waveforms? I, I sleep. I'm, I'm reading the, the <laughs> iPhone mini the Tesla self driving case, uh, uh, like legal. Oh, I, I'm trying to decide if it's worth talking about, but I heard iPhone mini and was like, wait. I just want to say I appreciate that this leak is six months until this probably comes out. 
Yeah. We are yeah, that's what, out uh, there. Yeah. Well, it's <laughs> Google. I know. So, oh, it's so on brand. Yeah, they are not good at keeping secrets. Also, do we think this is going to be more expensive? Because the 8A was four ninety nine, I think. At the launch, wasn't the it? rumor is that it's it the was? same price. Oh, it is. Yeah, I thought it was the same price. Pixel. I think it was four ninety nine. It's four ninety nine. We keep yeah. jacking the price up every year. Don't we don't we do can it. go higher. Well, not every don't year. get on us. Yeah, true. I don't think you can launch this higher than five hundred. But what if it has all the Gemini stuff? They also increased the price of the standard Pixel Nine by a hundred dollars. Remember? Mm, they did. Yeah. So that's that, what makes this like. I is this a good buy or not? It makes it's it gonna, a better value. It really depends on because the, price the here. AA was like almost the same price as the on sale. Eight. Should we? Okay. Well, should we bet on the price, the launch price of the Pixel 9a? 499. 499. Let's do it. 499. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Okay, I'll go 599. Oh my God. Damn. If it's 599. Oh. <laughs> I hope that's wrong. <laughs> DOA. I really hope 599. that's wrong. Yeah. I they mean, don't even have a camera bar. Do they add a bunch of RAM? Is that how they could just. It's supposed buy? to have 8 gigs of RAM. Probably yeah. for the AI stuff. Because all, uh, all the Pixel 9s have. I think the reason the regular Pixels could go up is because you start getting to that next iteration of like 500 right or even 250 maybe so like 500 feels like the limit of what yeah. these middle range lower end phones are yeah we've had flagships cost but like the nice. pixel ones were under a thousand so they could bump that up to get to the thousand mm -hmm. they shouldn't well whatever they can do whatever they want this feels like if you go 549 if you go 599 on this that's crazy that's, that better be on sale in like a week Right after it comes out. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's bad. Every year it goes up by a little bit. I bet it's going up again. Dang. Four ninety nine. Do you guys remember the Pixel 4a? Best value phone ever. Correct. Three forty nine. I, I gave that thing a trophy. That's wild. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching that clip. Uh, if you've gotten to the end and you're watching this clip after the year 2030, then that means they've gotten to the the part where the subscribe button jumps out of the page into your room in VR and you actually have to find it, chase it, and hug it to subscribe. <laughs> So make sure you do that. Uh, but if you watch this before 2030, then I think all you have to do is click click it with your mouse or whatever. I they thought it was smash down. it. Is that an analog device that you use? I don't, I don't to... really know. I think in 2024, yes, whenever this computer. is uploaded, they use like a clicker thing and they have to like click a button or something. A clicker. Yeah. Moose? And then it like plays like a little 2D animation or something. Mm, something like 2D. that. But yeah, obviously in 2030, like just give it a nice hug. Yeah. I could, oh, yeah. I could hug a subscribe button. Yeah. Adam, what sound does it make when you when you hug it again? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs>